Hey, thanks for joining the channel. This is part one of a three-part series. In this episode, we're going to set up the trail cameras that we're going to test this year going into the Super Bowl of trail cameras is what we're calling it. So this is the third year now that we're doing this testing, and we've got a special guest. So thanks for joining us, and let's get on with the episode. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Today, Joel, what do we what do we have on our docket? Plus, we have a special guest. We've got a special guest, and it's uh, football time of year, Tim. And uh, this is the this will be the third year in a row that we around the NFL football playoff season we uh, we start comparing our new cameras, trail cameras, uh, to ones that we've had in the past, and uh, how how well are they going to perform for the upcoming season? And both our teams are out of the NFL, so we might as well focus on something else. We're not even going to talk about our teams, right? We're just saying they are out. Yeah. But it's not like 28 other. How many How many are left? 20, whatever. 20-some yeah. other teams are in the same boat, right? Well, you, your, your team, I know we're not talking teams, but you, you, got a first, you guys are going to get the first-round pick, I think. My team might have the first-round <laughs> pick. If you do a little math there and you got to figure out who my team is, right? But yeah, there's uh, there's always next year. You know, first pick again. No, well, I mean not success, but I guess it's been a while. Since it's you been guys a while, 1940 something. <laughs> but but it's been a rough it's been a rough patch for my team, which happens to be the Bears, right? Mm. But, uh, but but Tim, you mentioned uh, we've got a guest here, so. Jace, thanks for uh, thanks for joining the podcast. Thanks uh, for having Chase me, guys. Is, yeah, Chase is a long time, like first time listener and long time uh, <laughs> subscriber. Uh, subscriber to uh, Midwest Hunting Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, Jace Riley, local guy, been hunting pretty much my whole life, and just met these two dumbasses when they came in to see me at work one day. So <laughs> literally, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we see Jace a lot and and talk about. A lot of things, right? Yep. Right. So, uh, but the main purpose of Jace being on the podcast is we've ex Tim, we've exhausted our new <laughs> cameras over the last two years competing, and we really didn't have. We have one new one, uh, a Bushnell that we're going to throw in the bunch this year. But we did some brainstorm and say, "Hey, what are we going to do this year?" And uh, you had the great idea. Yep, and you know, I think it just makes a lot of sense to involve our listeners as part of our Super Bowl challenge. I'm really interested. Where, where, what made you decide to get this Bushnell, Jake? Uh, yeah, the, well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it when we get to <laughs> when we talk about which ones are going to be competing. But uh, there's a linkage, right? Okay. Yeah, I think you were involved with that. I was. Linkage. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Jace has brought uh, uh, two, two, two of your cameras yep. here are yours. And then we've got the returning camera, the Moultrie A700i, which won it last year and placed really high the year before um and then we've got another moultrie i think uh, a 25i yeah a 25i that we're going to throw in the mix so we've got four cameras this year that we're going to match up and we'll probably sit here and uh, rank them so we want the best against the worst and we think the second one to the second worst and uh so in the finals it'll be the two best cameras competing against each other uh, Tim, let's talk about the criteria that we're going to use to kind of measure these cameras by. So I think, so a lot of these cameras have different features, right? They have delays, multi-shot, they have uh, um, video, et cetera. I think some of the things that we started to figure out in this last year is, is battery usage. Battery usage is pretty important. And then also responsiveness of the shutter. So shutter, think of it as shutter speed and how far out from a sensitivity perspective, whether it be, I think we looked at uh, 30 feet, 100 feet, et cetera. And then lastly, how many pictures can it take, right? So, um, and that also leads to some of the sensitivity that we saw. I think those are gonna be our main criteria, really. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And then of course, you know, picture quality during the day and at night. Yes. Um, so it's good gonna play at. into that. Yep. 
But um, yeah, so we want to kind of keep it a little informal as far as the criteria, but uh, generally speaking, that's going to be our thought process. Yeah. Any predictions on, uh, we'll talk that here in a second. Let's introduce the cameras. Yeah, let's, let's introduce the cameras. So uh, the first one here, I'm going to, Jace, let's grab your first one there and uh, let's just kind of generically talk um, the history of this camera and um, what your prediction might be on the camera. So this is tried and true. I'd say it's the one of the most popular ones you're going to see out in the woods. It's a Tasco from Walmart. Uh, I bought it, I want to say, five years ago. You know, it's held up good. It looks new. Still takes good pictures. Uh, you know, people ask why I buy it. I suppose I'd have to say because I was broke and at Walmart, so this is what we got. Uh, no complaints, really. You know, nighttime pictures aren't the best, but you can't shoot deer at dark anyway, so I like it. Yeah, good, good. Uh, and uh, looking at that one, it's got a tray that holds yep. batteries in. I, was it six or eight batteries? Eight batteries, eight, eight batteries. double A's. Um, I think, well, I, we've got one. I know we've got one camera here that only uses six double A batteries. So that'll be a little difference. But um, predictions on that, you've got good history with this camera. I've got good history. Um, I'd say you're going to get what you pay for on that one. You know, it's... It's a $20, $30 camera. It's, is it going to take pictures? Absolutely. Uh, but I'm going to say in this class, it's probably going to come last. Okay, so if we're going to seat them yep, like gonna, a bracket. I'm going to give him number four. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I was going to say, yeah. I was gonna say yeah. three or four, but yeah, you no, went right. I'm going for four on that one. <laughs> okay. All right. The next one so is... It's, um, it's properly positioned. That's it right. It is proper. Uh, the next one is, uh, Tim, you alluded to this. It's a Bushnell L20. And... How I got this camera, why it's new to me, is when we did last year's competition, um, I had a Primos Autopilot. I absolutely love the Primos Autopilot cameras. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't get them anymore. And when we were testing this, the the latch broke. And uh, I'm going to stay with the Primos uh, Autopilot. So that is this one. Yeah, it's probably... The camera that's replacing the, uh, that's not so good. All right, that's we'll a talk conch. then. <laughs> that's a conch. Uh, uh, this is one that's replacing the, uh, the Primo. It really didn't latch tight. Now, could we tape it or whatever? It just, but it was under warranty. I sent it back, and uh, this is what I got back. So Bushnell bought Primos over a period of time here. So uh, we're going to test this one. I, I've had this one out this season pretty happy with it um i was happier with the autopilot than this one but it'll be interesting how it competes um in this mess if i was going to seat this one i think it's a and i don't know yours jace but i would say it's a two or three you know a two okay. or three all right um on the well there's only one get... one seed left i mean so <laughs> yeah yeah we know who's gonna get one right so <laughs> how about the uh the next one jace uh another one i brought this was a Moultrie A series, and to be honest, I didn't like Moultrie for a long time. But I was at Mills Farm and Fleet; they were having a big sale, and I think at that time I was kind of thinking the infrared was the way to go. And this is an infrared light, and I mean, once again, I don't think I spent more than probably forty or fifty on this one. You know, I'm definitely a bargain buyer when I see them. And saying that though, I'm gonna if I was gonna seat this one, I like the pictures. Um, I actually got a lot of Bobcat pictures on this camera this year, and I'm gonna say it's the dark horse. It's gonna win it all. It's, it's gonna it's, a, it's gonna oh, seat the champ. Ooh, that's so, a challenge. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Huh? I right. think you know he's got some common themes here, though. I mean, we we have generally speaking not been Moultrie fans. Uh, I have been an anti Moultrie fan up till a couple years ago. Yeah. 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 I, I personally think they changed. The, their models around a little bit uh, their camera uh, approach and uh, to me anyway from their customer standpoint made a, made a huge difference and you know how you spoke about you're a bargain shopper for cameras i mean for the longest time that's that's how we bought our cameras i've i've now gotten to a point where i'm stable you know but how many years did it take me to get there long time right i'm a different mm -hmm. different point in time in my life too as right. well so. absolutely I think it might be a good point to talk. Uh, I think all the t all the cameras we're going to test today are, you know, let's say sixty dollars and less, and uh, it might even be closer to fifty five dollars and less. So, 
very much bargain cameras that we're testing in this uh, this year's finals. Yep. So, all right, the last one, Tim. Why don't you grab that one and uh, talk about that one? So this is the Moultrie A700i. Uh, I initially got this from my aunt and uncle, uh, Jim and Sue, and uh, you know, sh purely by chance. And again, when I first saw it, it was Moultrie. You know, I you know. You start to question, but I got to tell you this, this is a primo, no pun intended camera. And, uh, and I now own, I believe maybe six of these, four or six of these. But you must've bought some last year. Uh, well, when, after the Super Bowl challenge, I bought a couple more. Okay. Okay. And who else bought some? I bought four. <laughs> I bought four last year, and uh, that's why I don't have any new cameras this year. They all performed great. And, um, uh, yeah, we'll talk more. We'll see where that one – I'm suspecting that it's going to be up towards the top, but uh, th that will give us an opportunity to talk more about the specs and the output. I mean, we can go on further. That baby's going to run away with it. <laughs> oh, man. That, that's that's what I'm going to say. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> um. I will include the specs on these cameras. We didn't want to dull the, the video with, uh, you know, talking a lot of numbers and functions and features and stuff. So it's better to put those up in the video. So as we talk to each camera, you'll see the specs on them. But um, Tim, what are you thinking as far as testing? Are we going to do what we did last year? Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking what we'll end up doing is, is we'll screw these all onto or mount them. That probably is a better word mount these all onto one piece of wood we'll throw some bags of corn out there and uh we'll run the test so we'll run a test in a day and see how they do and then we'll pare that down against our criteria and then uh we'll have we'll get it down to two we'll probably do two against the other two the and we'll run another test and then what we'll do is we'll turn off all the uh probably the tiebreaker will be is we'll turn off all the sensitivities and see how many pictures it will take just repeating and that's how we'll also get at battery usage a oh, good feel on the batteries yeah okay okay cool well i think we got it covered guys is there anything that we missed or anything you want to bring up no i gotta say no i haven't not seen this one and having a little bit of experience with moultries and the thing I do, one thing I love about them is when they put the instructions inside. Because I feel like from year to year, you know, you kind of forget, not all cameras are the same. So I do like that Moultrie's been doing that now. So I've, it sounds like you're backpedaling. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we're still going to have to <laughs> move well, That's one. a good ad, though. Yeah, that's, I mean, good that's, ad. that's a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I have, I, I will vouch for the A700, the battery. I, I just pulled those four cameras that I bought last year. They've literally been out since October. He's a believer. Um, <laughs> and and there was a 30% battery, 34% battery level on, rechargeable batteries um, in them. So anyway, we'll, we'll let the we'll let the data speak for itself. More than a believer. He's a slow adopter believer. <laughs> Took him two years, two years to buy it. Sounds like a salesman. <laughs> That's what I'm trying. thinking. <laughs> Sounds like, right? But uh all right, well, guys, if that's not it, we got some work to do to get these cameras set up and test. But um, until next time, be, be safe, safe, have fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for listening.